everyone, what's up? Dave Atkinson here, and I wanted to teach you a really quick concept that you can take to your kit in order to completely change up your drum fills. Now, most drummers, uh, you can hear it in top 40 rock songs, you can hear it everywhere. Most drummers play fills that are one bar long, meaning if you're playing four four, it's four counts. So one, two, three, four, fill, two, three, four. Okay, and that's very, very common. And what I wanna do is try and get you guys to start thinking outside of that box, okay? This is a very, very simple concept. I'm not gonna go too much in depth with it, but you can use it literally with whatever you play. And that concept is playing your fills a little bit before and a little bit after what you're normally used to playing them at, okay? So for you beginners, let's start with the very basic. Let's speed up, or sorry, let's take your fill and start it a quarter note sooner than what you usually play. So instead of playing it on the one, where most drummers are used to playing it, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we're gonna play it on the quarter note before the one, so the four count of the bar leading up to the fill. So that'll look like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Very simple, I'm not gonna teach you any specific fill for it, take what you already have been playing, the fills that you're used to, and maybe add a few notes to it, like this. So as you can see, I had to add a few notes in because I was adding an extra quarter note into the fill. Now I played that on the four count of the bar previous to the fill. Now I'm gonna try playing it on the two count of the fill or the bar that I'm supposed to be playing the fill in, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm waiting an extra quarter note before I start the fill. You might need to take some notes away in this situation. Here's what I mean. Now that's just moving them around by a quarter note. For you intermediate or advanced drummers, you can even experiment with moving it ahead by an eighth note, okay? Or even a sixteenth note. So let me try, instead of playing it a quarter note earlier, let's try an eighth note earlier. So I'm gonna play it on the and of four, almost like a pickup into the fill. Okay, here we go. Now that's a very subtle change, something that a lot of you drummers might already do is add that little pickup. But if you move that eighth note around, I mean you can play it on the and of three before the fill, or you can play it after when the fill's supposed to start, maybe on the and of two. There are so many possibilities, and what I was doing there is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Just basic stuff like that. Let's try a sixteenth note, alright? Let's play it on the a uh, of one, so one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a. Uh. So we're just starting your fill a little bit later on the A uh, of one rather than the what. This is what this sounds like. So there you go guys, a very simple concept that you can take and start applying it to the fills that you are already playing, okay? And for you intermediate and advanced drummers, try not to just play whatever feels right emotionally. For this exercise, try and purposefully move the fill around by a sixth eighth note or even a dotted note or something. And what that's gonna really do is challenge yourself to start thinking more creatively and different um, when you start playing your fills. It might be a bit uncomfortable, but that's good. Practice what's uncomfortable, that's how you're gonna get better. All right, now you can use the same concept when you're ending your fills. You don't have to end your fills always on the one, so one, two, three, four, one. You don't have to do that. Let's take the same concept and move this fill so it ends on the end of one rather than the one. Quickly, this is what this looks like. So with this concept, there are literally hundreds, if not 
thousands of different ways that you can completely change your drum fills. And it's a concept that I've been using a lot and it's really forced me to think more uniquely, more creatively when I approach my drum fills, which is awesome. Now, if you like this idea and you learn something from it, I strongly recommend you check out drumfillsystem.com. It's uh, a new course we just re-released. It's got tons of DVDs, tons of CDs on drum fills, comes with two books as well. Definitely check it out because there are literally hundreds and thousands of different concepts and tricks and tips on making your drum fill sound that much better. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you around.